guys, it's Ms. Shahara. I hope you guys are having an amazing morning today. Even though we can't meet in person, we are so excited that we can meet through Facebook. Speaking of Facebook, we are posting amazing things every single day. We have devotions being posted at 10 every day. We also have fun activities, trivia, and some really awesome surprises for you. I know it's a little different the way that we are having service, but we are so excited to be able to worship with you this morning and share the word of God. We are praying for you guys constantly, and we are so looking forward to be able to see you very, very soon. So make sure you check our Facebook page for those daily calendar posts, or check your calendar at home, and we will see you so very soon. It is time for a game. Are you guys ready? All right. Well, we are going to play a sloth race. So there is going to be sloth number one, sloth number two, and sloth number three. You must pick one of those sloths to see which one you think will win. Are you ready? Good morning, Kids Connect. We are excited to have a special service with you this morning right from your living room. We're about to worship together, so jump up on your feet, get ready to sing and praise God with all your heart this morning, and we'll be worshiping with you right here. See you. 
So grab your seat, grab your Bible, and we're going to jump right in. Last week, we were talking about the Trinity. So we talked about that God is three parts, mm-hmm. that he is Jesus, That's right. that he's God, and that he's the Holy Spirit. Remember, we used an apple to illustrate the different parts yes. of how God can be three people, but yet one person. We also talked about growing our spirit in the Bible, worshiping, coming to church, praying, and those are all things you can do at home in your house even right now so we're going to jump into our next part of this lesson and dig a little bit deeper and grow in our spirits boys and girls have you ever felt helpless before probably most of us are like the rest of us you know our god in heaven does not want us to feel helpless he loves us so much did you know for thousands of years people felt helpless until one day, God sent Jesus, his son. Jesus had power, and Jesus was able to do such mighty things. If people needed help, who did they turn to? Jesus. There's a woman in the Bible, she had an issue with blood, she was sick, and she knew that if she went and saw Jesus, all she had to do She had faith just to touch the hem of his garment and knew that she would be healed. And she was, because Jesus has power. Not only that, we can look in the book of Luke and Jesus calms the storm. Remember his disciples were out on the boat, a storm came along and there was Jesus. In the middle of the boat, he was sleeping. But the disciples woke him up, worried, Jesus, Jesus, wake up. Jesus woke up and asked them why they were afraid. And all Jesus did was pray. And that storm calmed. See, Jesus has power. But the question to you is, Jesus doesn't live on this earth anymore. He lives in heaven alongside the heavenly father so where is the power today do you know go ahead and check out this video as we find out stories of the bible god sends the holy spirit these are the apostles they followed jesus during his time on earth before jesus went to heaven He told them to stay in Jerusalem until God sent the gift he promised. See ya! So after Jesus went to heaven, the apostles stayed in Jerusalem along with the other people who believed in Jesus. One day they were all gathered together when there was a sound from heaven like a mighty windstorm. Whoa! Then what looked like flames appeared and settled on each of them, and everyone was filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gave them the ability to speak in other languages, and so they started speaking. At that time, there were devout Jews from every nation living in Jerusalem. When they heard the loud noise, they came running to see what it was. What's going on? When they saw the believers speaking in their own languages, they were shocked and amazed. Hey, do you hear this? They wondered, how can this be? These people are from Galilee, and yet we hear them speaking in our own native languages about the wonderful things God has done. What can this mean? Nah, whatever. But others in the crowd didn't believe that it was really a miracle and thought the believers were just acting oddly. (sighs) Then Peter stepped forward and shouted to the crowd, Hey, all you! Listen carefully, all you! He told them that they were not acting strangely, but that this was from God. He reminded them that God said this would happen long ago. 
Then Peter told them about how Jesus was crucified, but then raised to life again, just as God had said he would be. He told them that Jesus was now in heaven and that God had given the Holy Spirit to them as he had promised. Peter's words changed what the people thought and felt, and they asked, Brothers, what should we do? Peter told them, Each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Wow! Peter continued to preach to the crowd for a long time, and those who believed what Peter said were baptized. 3,000 people were baptized and added to the church that day. Then all the believers listened to the apostles' teaching and practiced what they taught. Hey! They met together in fellowship, shared meals, and prayed together. They were amazed as the apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders. All the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. Here you go. Take this. Ah, thank you. They helped those in need. Here, this is for you. Thank you. Worshiped together at the temple every day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper, and shared their meals with great joy all while praising God and enjoying each other. And each day, God added to their fellowship those who were being saved. So boys and girls, in today's Bible story, we saw that Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to give power. And when the Holy Spirit came upon the disciples, they saw amazing things happen. They saw many people come to know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, and they were saved. See, ladies and gentlemen, in Acts chapter 1, verse 8, it says, you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. Last week, you guys talked about when do you get the Holy Spirit? When you ask Jesus Christ into your life, you automatically have the Holy Spirit. But we're going to learn in the next few weeks how to receive the Holy Spirit. There's a difference, but we'll talk about that later. So, Miss Amy, I have a question. Okay, what is that? You've been talking When I go on runs every day, I come back and I'm exhausted. Oh, yes. <laughs> I might be breathing heavy yes. and sweating, and I need a drink. Yes. And they say that Gatorade gives you power. Is this the same power that God gives me so that I can keep running? Absolutely not. That is not the power we're talking about. We're not talking about power that gives you energy. This is power that is given to us through God. See, when the Holy Spirit lives in us, it's the same as if the Holy Spirit living through Jesus. The power that Jesus had on earth is the same power that is in me. The same power that was in Jesus is in me. So what does that mean, boys and girls? That means they, meaning God and Jesus, have given me the authority to heal the sick, to heal the brokenhearted, to raise people from the dead, and even calm the storms. Because the Holy Spirit is in me and gives me power. I understand that. I'm gonna go use that power to go tell the rest of my family no. they can pray for each other and pray for everything going on right now and see a change. Absolutely. All right, boys and girls, we'll see you later. Bye. Guten Morgen, Kinder. Professor Nutz here. I am going to do very, very messy experiment today. Now, we all love this experiment. You know this one. But it is such a good, messy, messy experiment that we like it very much. We are teaching on the power, the Leistung, of the Holy Spirit today. The Heiliger Geist is the Holy Spirit. So you get ready to watch this experiment. This is the one you know. Diet Coke or Mentos. This is you. This is power of Holy Spirit. Now watch.
That is power. I got all of that.